This is going to be a video on my John Lennon vinyl collection. I do not have any of John's experimental albums, Two Virgins, Life with the Lions, or the Wedding Album. I just have strictly, I guess you'd call it his post-experimental album, starting with the Plastic Ono Band live in Toronto. And this, of course, was recorded at it was like a rock and roll, a Toronto rock and roll revival festival, and he was accompanied by Eric Clapton, I think Klaus Vorman on bass. Um, I can't recall who was the drummer. Uh, I don't, I'm not remembering. Oh, I suppose I could look at the back of the album. It says um, Alan White on drums, and of course Yoko Ono on vocals. And this is on the Apple record label. And to my knowledge, there's not any distinctive inner sleeve on this record. And then of course the Plastic Ono Band album. And Yoko also released at the same time a solo album called Plastic Ono Band. And the difference in cover, they look almost identical, except it's Yoko laying on John's lap. And on the back, there's a childhood picture of Yoko. This does have, I do have the original inner sleeve, which has lyrics. And to Yoko with love from John and a little drawing there. This is also on the Apple label. And I've forgotten that, I've, for whatever reason, I've got price stickers on the label. I need to take those off at some point. I noticed that on the last album too. And then I've got another version also on the Apple label, which does not have a price sticker on the actual record label. Exact same copy, this is not any different, it's just I uh, had gotten an eBay order recently and there were three albums as part of the set and I'd already had this one but I figured I'll get another copy of it. I'm fine with having two copies. Um, this one actually, the spine is you can actually read the lettering on the spine. On the copy that I showed you before, it's a little bit of a seam split. This is my third copy of Plastic Ono Band, and this is a more recent copy. This is on the infamous Capital Purple label, which was released, uh, I believe, in the late 70s. And so this was a reissue. It even says um, somewhere on here that this was previously issued, but... Um, the sound quality is not anywhere near as good as an original copy. This is the Imagine album. And this has got an interesting Apple label there with John. And it's got kind of credits and a spinning wheel. It's got lyrics. And it also came with a poster, the famous poster of John at his white piano. This was the second copy of this that I bought, and I already had a copy of it, but it did not have the original inner sleeve or the poster, and that is is it this copy? This is, okay. Well, it's somewhere here. This is my, um, purple reissue. You know, as I'm thinking about it now, I actually gave that other copy to my brother, so I, 
forgotten all about that. So I actually have that original Apple one and then this one on the purple capital label. And then I have, this was the um, anniversary remaster, which came out in 2019. I'm forgetting if it was 2019 or 2018. I'm gonna go with 2018 on that. This is not a gatefold, even though it's a thick uh, package. It's got a, two albums. It's got some information. One disc are um, filled with outtakes, and then the other disc has the original album on it. And it also has the same poster that I showed you on the um, Apple album that I've got. But that's a cool one to have. The sound on it is spectacular. Of course, this is the no notorious uh, sometime in New York City, which ended a run of two really great albums. I don't think this is terrible. It's not great. It's a little too much Yoko for my liking, but nonetheless, I can appreciate some of the stuff on here. It's a lot of agit pop, political stuff, as you can tell by the cover. The lyrics were all written here. This is a reissue. It's got an inner sleeve. And. Again, on the purple capital label. I don't know if I want to invest in getting this one on an original Apple label. I'm, I'm, it's not my favorite album. I probably will. If I can find it at a decent enough price, I'll probably grab it. But as of right now, I haven't seen it for under 20 bucks, which I, you know, I can understand that. And which order? Okay, it's got to be this one because the barcode's not on the back. This is Mind Games and it's on the Apple label. And the cover is just like the back. And no, well, wait a minute. There is an inner sleeve. And it has some lyrics on it. This one's kind of a little bent up. It got kind of shoved into the jacket. Not very delicately, but. And I don't know if that was from the original. Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm getting confused. This is the reissue, and it says right up here a capital reissue, just in case you weren't aware. And this is on the green capital label, which green was the budget label, so I'm not sure why the Imagine was on the purple label. The Plastic Ono Band reissue was on the purple label, and this was on the green one. I do not know. Um, and this one's got the barcode also, which the other one didn't have. Walls and bridges with the cover that pulls away like this. Um... The top does not, and then it opens at the top, and there is a lyric book with some more. These are all drawings that John did either in art college or when he was very young. In fact, there's an interview with Elliot, no, not, it's not Elliot Mintz, it's uh, there's a radio interview he did where he talked about how this is the first time since the days of the Beatles that he had complete control over the album packaging. 
which I don't know is entirely true because I know for the Imagine album, he um, picked the photographs that went on the, the front and back cover, but that's anyway what he said in uh, that particular interview. I'll show you the label here. The standard Apple label. And then this is a nice thick cardboard inner sleeve. Although, trying to get it gingerly in there. And then back in here is not the easiest thing to do. This is the Rock and Roll album, which was released in 1975. No, I mean, there's an inner sleeve, but it doesn't have any lyrics or anything on it. This is again on the Apple label. And one thing I didn't realize until a few years ago was that this is the first solo Beatles album that features three former Beatles. And that would be John and these blurry images. This is Paul and this is George. This was taken in Hamburg in the early 60s. Either late 50s or early 60s, John used that for the cover of that album. And this is the reissue. I don't know that there's much difference other than, again, a barcode. And this is on the, again, it's another one on the Green Capital label. And up in the top left, it says a capital reissue. And then this is a reissue of Shade Fish, which was the first John Lennon compilation. I guess you could call it his compilation. This has got some abridged versions here. It's got a shorter version of Give Peace a Chance. And there's a reprise at the very end. Um, Got Cold Turkey, Instant Karma, Power to the People, Mind Games, Number Nine Dream. This is on the Purple Capital label. And this inner sleeve has lyrics. And the Red Sun. And I'm going to need to tape this inner sleeve one of these days. It is falling apart. And then the last studio album that was released in John's lifetime. This one I was fortunate enough to get still in the shrink wrap. Would have been great if there was a hype sticker, but nonetheless, I've seen a lot of beat up copies of this just because so many were sold. Just the fact that I could get one in shrink, I was pretty happy with and didn't pay an arm and a leg for. This has got lyrics. His first and only studio album on the Guffin label. And then released, I believe it was 1982. This one is also in the shrink wrap. This is Unfinished Dialogue. Um, a heart play and this is a interview disc the first well both sides actually are taken from different interviews including the Playboy interview that was done it says these conversations with Johnny Yoko took place in late summer and the fall of 1980 when he was promoting the double fantasy album and the recordings were made for a documentary on the Lennons and for the Playboy interview 
This is on the Polydor label. And in here, there's also, it's just a little sheet with information about the content of the interviews there with Yoko signing it at the bottom. You almost would miss this if you didn't know it was in there just because it's just kind of tucked in there. And it's interesting, listen, if you like interviews, I suppose, but I always like, inter you know, especially John talking about his history with the Beatles and a little bit about the Double Fantasy album and what inspired that. He's always an entertaining listen. I love the Beatles interviews, and at some point I'm going to do a video about all my Beatle interview albums that I have. This, is, of course, is Milk and Honey, which I did a video about about a week or so ago. And this is also on the Polydor label. And like the Double Fantasy album, it has an inner sleeve with lyrics. And I'm not gonna bother showing the label. It looks just like the one from that interview album. This is the John Lennon collection, which was an excellent greatest hits compilation. Although, a lot of Double Fantasy stuff on here. So, you almost don't need Double Fantasy if you have this. Live in New York City, which was on the Capital Rainbow label. And different pictures from that period of time. A lot of the uh, Capital stuff that was released in the 80s was back on the Rainbow label. There was some Beatles stuff that was on the Rainbow label. And then this album and the next one that were released, which is Men Love Avenue. And these were outtakes from the Walls and Bridges and Rock and Roll sessions. Not an inner sleeve for this one. And I was hoping there would be more in the way of credits, but this was a um, Andy Warhol art piece. I'm not sure if this was completed before or after John died. And I made it through another video with only one interruption. And I got through all of it. I appreciate any comments that you have. I have done my John Lennon CDs now and my John Lennon albums and the next video that I will do related to John Lennon will be my John Lennon cassettes. So I hope everybody is doing well through the quarantine and I hope that you're all safe and well and healthy and thanks for watching.